This is an IGBT module. Some of you may have never seen the inside of an IGBT module before. Today, we're going to explain its internal structure. First, let's open up the IGBT. After opening it, you'll notice that it contains three bridge arms labeled U, V, and W. Each bridge arm has two IGBT transistors inside. So, where exactly are these IGBT transistors located? It's the component inside the red box we're looking at now. This is the IGBT transistor. And connected to this IGBT transistor, there's a yellow box above it, which contains a diode connected in parallel next to the IGBT. You can see there are many pins on top. One, two, three, and so on. So what are these pins connected to? Let's analyze this. First, let's look at this pin. It comes down and connects to this spot. Then through this bonding wire, the bonding wire jumps over here and lands on this copper foil. But this copper foil is connected to the underside of both the IGBT transistor and the diode. So this copper foil here is our collector, and this spot above is its emitter. Also connected to the emitter is the anode of our diode. Then we can also see that in this small corner, there is a separate terminal. This terminal is the gate of our IGBT. This gate, this gate, and this gate, these three are connected in parallel using this wire. And the emitters are also connected in parallel with wires. So what about these two pins over here? This pin comes down and connects to this copper strip. Then through a bonding wire, it jumps over right to the gate position. So this pin is the gate. As for the one on the left, it just happens to jump over and connect to the topmost part. So that one is the emitter. So these three pins are the emitter, the collector, and this collector. And these three are connected in parallel, forming a large IGBT module. So here we have one set, two sets, three sets, four sets, five sets, six sets. The six sets of IGBT modules make up our three-phase full bridge inverter, which can convert the positive and negative terminals from the battery pack into U, V, and W three-phase power to supply our motor. If you enjoyed this, please give us a follow.